to the ward in France. A little bit of sad news this morning. Um, I'm afraid uh, I have to tell you with um, relative sadness, but with some sort of relief that um, our gardening specialist, Ian Ward, has come to the end of his contract with this channel. Um, despite the overwhelming response to his uh, postings and his knowledge, uh, the channel have decided not to continue. Um, but we do have one more outing with him this morning. Um, I hope that you'll support him with his endeavours um, and wish him luck on his way. But uh, let's go over very quickly now to Ian Wall for his last outside broadcast and uh, see what he's getting on with. Ian, how are you doing this morning? Yes, good morning and a huge welcome back to uh, the southwest of France. And uh, it's a glorious, glorious start to the week. But I must just say it's the middle of the night, so I should be actually be a little bit quieter because I don't want to disturb the wildlife. Ian, it, it doesn't actually look like it's the middle of the night. It looks like the sun's shining quite brightly. Um, are you sure it's the middle of the night? Have you checked your watch this morning? Well, I do hope you're taking into account the time differences because they can be quite significant, can't they? But trust me, it's the middle of the night. So we'll be very, very quiet today. OK, well, in that case, we'll take your word for it again. One of our uh, viewers, only one, uh, wanted to know uh, how you got on with the rest of the garden with those scissors. How did you get on? Is it finished? Yeah, well, thank you for asking. Yes, I did get it done. I haven't slept. Um, I haven't been to bed. I haven't slept. That's why it's the middle of the night. Um, but yes, it's just been finished. Thank you for asking. Looks amazing. And as I said to you last time, it won't grow. So it's done, it looks beautiful. I don't need to touch it again for the rest of the year. So thank you, yeah. Well, that's really, really good news. Um, I hope the, the scissors didn't get too, too blunt as you do all that grass with just a pair of scissors. So I see, yes, you're back in the vines. So uh, Exactly what pearls of wisdom have you got for us today? Back in the vines, Ian Ward, at the Ward in France. Well, this morning, I happened to find myself in amongst the vines um, because I wanted to show you uh, the process of vitificulture. I can't even say it. Yes, well, as you can see, there are miles and miles and miles and miles and miles of vines in this just one small vineyard. And what I did was I individually and manually took all of the harvested vines back to this one, one shoot, which you bend over like so, and then you leave it. And then from there, the shoots begin to grow. And as you can see, the shoots are just starting to bud. The petals are coming out. And I did this individually. It took me quite some time to walk through all of these vines and more. But you know, being an expert, it has to be done. And if it's worth doing, it's worth doing properly, right? So yeah, that's the vines. They're now flowering. What we don't want at the moment is any, any horrible frosts because if it frosts, it kills the buds. It then means that you might get a second growth, but you know, it's just one of those, it's a really dangerous time of year because it's still becoming warm, but it's still becoming cold, if you understand that. As you can see, I'm inspecting. It's important to inspect. It's Im important to walk through just to see exactly what's going on, whether there's any damage, what needs to be taken care of, because I'm on it straight away. If something needs to be taken care of, I do not mess about. I'm on it and I deal with it and I move on. And I think that that's one of the best things about uh, what people know about me and what people trust about me is I don't sit on things for any great length of time. Anyway, we must crack on. I say it's uh, incredibly dark and uh, I'm having trouble seeing where I'm going. So I'm going to uh, hand you back and uh, bid you all a good day and maybe catch up a bit later on. 
Hmm. Who knows? I do think I understand. It takes us all for idiots. Sorry. Uh, anyway, the vines, they look like they are a lot of hard work and obviously we're going to keep our fingers crossed that uh, there's no frosts um, and that you carry on working as hard as you can. I think probably you're going to be far too busy to uh, contribute to our channel anymore. Um, and finally, Ian, it's not dark. It's daylight. Um, I don't know why you keep saying it is dark, but... Uh, there is something unhinged about you, Ian, and uh, we wish you all the very best and just hope that uh, you find the niche in another channel, perhaps. And um, well, or, or what more can I say? <sighs> anyway, thank you to all of uh, our viewers on this channel. Um, that is the last that you'll see of Ian Ward. Um, I think that he's going to be far too busy now that the uh, sun is out, even though he thinks it's dark. Um, but please carry on liking and subscribing and sharing because that's really important for the survival of any channel. And um, not quite sure where we're going to go from here because uh, obviously the loss of Ian is going to create a huge hole in our scheduling. But uh, I'm sure we'll come up with something and tune in the next time to The Ward in France and... Uh, Perhaps something will be revealed that might be really exciting. Have a good day. Take care of yourselves and each other.